Here's a Fairbanks Morse radio, and I've got the chassis uh, taken out of the cabinet. I think this is from around 1938 or so. And it's had some repairs and modifications done to it. It uh, originally ran off a 6 volt battery and had a vibrator, a synchronous vibrator, to provide the high voltage. And the synchronous vibrator is self rectifying, so it didn't have a rectifier tube. So someone put in a power transformer and rectifier tube. I wonder if this is some kind of a victory capacitor, like for World War II. That V, maybe it was for uh, replacement use uh, during the war to help keep radios functional since no new ones are being made during World War II. But this is, that's right, not an awful wiring job, but I can improve it a lot by using some terminal strips. They just spliced everything together with black tape. And it looks like it's got a filter choke in there. And this here is an interstage transformer. It uses a dual triode output with the two triodes in one tube. And it's got a triode driver here. And then this provides the, uh, the balanced input for the two halves of the push-pull triode. It originally used a directly heated triode in the battery mode, but they put in a new one. I think a, I think it's a 6N7. I'm not I wasn't familiar with that tube before I got this, but it's it's actually a dual triode. And it's just got some a variety of old caps in it. Here's a bias cell replacement. This almost looks like an N cell or maybe it's some old type of mercury cell. But uh, we'll just have to replace that with there's a little bias cell cup which it originally would have fit in. I may just put a double A in there because I'd read about how you can rejuvenate bias cells but this one doesn't even have the original one in it. So I just need to start replacing paper caps. We'll put some terminal strips in for the electrolytics. This is maybe a 60s era uh, at Sprague Atom. Here's the top view of it. I've now got all the capacitors replaced in the Fairbanks Morse radio and I'm giving it its first test. I just temporarily hooked up the speaker leads there and I'm introducing a signal into the IF tube from the signal generator. It looks like the uh, converter tube, the 6D8G, is not lighting up. I don't, I don't recall seeing that tube in any other radios I got, so I'm probably going to have to order a new one. I'll just double check the filament on it to make sure that it's bad. But the IF and audio circuitry seem to work. I'm introducing a 455 kilohertz signal from the signal generator and just capacitively coupling it into the grid of the IF tube. And I'm getting, let me increase the audio there. So, so I'm getting a signal into it. So once I, once I replace that tube, it ought to work. Here's the front view. The tuning eye tube is very weak. It's barely lighting up at all. Here's the completed radio underneath. I put in the fuse and the new power cord and I, uh, I mounted the electrolytics over here on a terminal strip. Now if this resistor starts producing a lot of heat or if the heat level is, is a lot I may need to relocate it just to keep it away from these wires here. And there's a new electrolytic there. I replaced all the paper caps. I replaced the bias cell with a 3.3 mega ohm resistor here because that's what a, a modern circuit has in the grid circuit of the first audio stage or a more modern circuit I should say and there's some some more paper caps. I had to take this coil out to replace all the caps I just had to sort of drop it down 
and I found a 6A8 tube to put in there and let's see here where's the 6A8 I think it's right right up here and that has pin 1 connected to ground uh, to uh, shield the metal shell of the tube. Originally there was a 6D8 in there that had a bad filament, but I did some research and I found that uh, 6A8 was a, a substitute. It may have a little bit different transconductance, but I, I actually did try it with a, a fuse on the uh, a fuse on the alligator clip cord and it seemed to work okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll hook up the shield lead, which is the number one pin that connects to the metal shell of that tube. I'll hook that up to ground, and then we'll uh, give a demonstration of it. Brand new book out. We've been talking about that. Now I've got the radio powered up. I just twisted the leads together temporarily to the speaker, but we'll, we'll definitely get better connections to the speaker here. And we'll put it back in there. Chastity.com. So www.chastity.com. Or they can call up the order line here at Catholic Answers, which is 888-291-8000. As I had mentioned earlier, if they get the book today, um, my wife, Crystalina, and I will be signing it because we call the tuning mechanism, the tuning belt is kind of slipping. Was it, uh, you or somebody was telling me that uh, they took this lowball number, the commissioner's court did, but, uh, but they didn't consider over the life of the contract they were That's signing. That's volume. Four or five times this more. How much, do you know that? I don't know the numbers, but I, I give you the time. gist of the, of the story. Basically, the, the company that came in there, and, and it was Venture Capital, or Venture Phone Systems or something, but they, they, uh, I'm not sure where this inter interference is coming from. Let me turn the light out here. Let's see if we can. The lowest this goes to is 5.7. I guess, no, I guess, okay, I guess it's 55. We have a station at 550, but may need a realignment to pick it up. I'll, I'll turn the tuning dial to the end and see if we can pick up any other stations. I got it on shortwave. I put a little oil on the gears on the variable capacitor, so it may loosen it up a little. Listen to this, and you put it to the... and it was coming through so loud and clear. I will send my messenger... I think that this is the high shortwave band. I think the... Middle position is the lower one, but I, I haven't been able to pick any fit much up on the lower shortwave bands. See if we can get WWV. Should be somewhere around here. Let me go back to AM. Where that noise is coming from. Okay, now I can tune the tuning capacitor up since I lubricated it. Radio 1510 KMMD. SPN Radio this is a dual triode output tube here, the 6N7, and then there's the 6P5 driver. I don't know what kind of tube this is. It's the detector and first audio. Let's see what it says what it is. Kansas State a team that's already lost more games than all of last season. They began the year ranked third. They'll tip at 90. 6T7G. I've never heard of that before. And then what's this too? Florida State's leading score and rebounder. A 15. I think that's the one of the old, the old like five pin or six pin tubes. But it works good. High school football recruit has made his college choice. Six six, 250 pound, Jadavion Clowney at 50. 
Joseph. They had ten Catholic kids. And it's just a beautiful service there. And you see this love of this marriage of 66 years. And, and my grandpa went into the funeral home, and the first funeral. thing he asked the director oh. was, do you have any... How hot this is getting. It seems pretty you know, small to transform. And with her. And he leaned over her casket. And, and it would have been a retrofit, because originally had the vibrator supply. And you see this, this love that's stronger than death. This isn't something that a, a pe people can just sit back and hope they find. This is something that you need to train yourself in before you meet the person, and the, the sacrifice, and the patience. And I know the years of waiting, perhaps, for a godly very, spouse very can weak. feel just overwhelming, but what better practice could you have like for marriage than patience? Somewhat. Patience. It's just super weak. Thank you. And so a lot of the things that Let's try a short wave again. I need to clean the controls here. Well, we don't have all we have is this little alligator clip lead for an antenna, so I have to try it with a better antenna. Let's go back to AM here. Not sure why I can't get 550 still, but the performance does seem to be pretty good. Just a few little, not too much more to fix on. I just got to get the speaker leads hooked back up. There's the uh, 1938 Fairbanks Morse radio. WWV. this dial mechanism. It's got a it's got a uh, gear reduction drive on there. But I have to kind of hold the dial belt on it to get it to turn for a higher power. 